Before we begin, a disclaimer. This satirical comedy is not intended to hurt anyone's sentiments or feelings, but it is just pure entertainment. This is the year 2040, and after the pandemic of 2020, men have started taking care of home and kids, while women are leading the universe. Here are six investors, the slam dunkers. In basketball, a slam dunk is a shot in which a player jumps up and forces the ball through the basket to score big. These six investors have earned the name the slam dunkers as all the companies they have chosen till date have scored really big. That is the slam dunk. To date, our dunkers have funded 128 women companies and 17 male founders and created 57 unicorns. In this special slam dunk investor forum, the investors will listen to the pitch of qualified promising entrepreneurs and outbid each other to invest in the companies they feel they can take to the next slam dunk. Hello, good day to all. I'm Sarah, your host from the Slam Dunkers. Let's meet our investors. Our first dunker is Teresa. She is Miss Finance. She is a financial wizard. She had started her financial services company in the early 2020s and sold it for $1.2 billion, a dunk. Next is Dr. Nandi, Miss Healthcare. She started a medical claims company and grew it to $2.1 billion in just 12 years. Her company was acquired by AIG for a whooping $2.8 billion six years ago. Then there is our awesome dunker, Bridget, Miss Education. An $800 million publisher of educational books. She controls all the publishing of the scholastic world. She started with scouting inspirational stories for young adults. She has bagged some wonderful women ventures. Our fourth grade dunker is Miss Magica. She is known as the Miss Marketing. Capitalizing on the role reversal trend, she made $3.5 billion in just five years, creating marketing campaigns for men toiletries, hand cream, and beard conditioners. Our next wonderful investor is Miss Samantha or Miss Technology. She held over 100 patents in technology and sold her AIML company to Poogle for $2.8 billion. She has a keen insight about innovation in the company. And here is one pretty inspirational slam dunker Ravi, an environmentalist and Mr. Clean Tech. He has invested in social entrepreneurs and is the backbone of the civil and green infrastructure. His companies are worth $400 million. No, 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 that's 400 billion, 400 billion. Oh yes. Sorry, sorry. So thank you all for being here. You all have been given the list and pitch decks of the four entrepreneurs we have shortlisted for today. Please go through the list and let us know who would you like to call. I'll be back in the five minutes. We have seemed to have done well this season. We invested in 32 found, women founded and four male founded companies this year. That's over $65 million. 
Yay, that sounds good. Hang on. In our contract with the Slam Dunk organization, I believe we need to keep the minority mandate of 15%. That means at least 15% of our funding has to go to male founders. Oh, shucks. That means we need to find at least one more male founder to fund. Um, let me see. We have two male founders on the shortlist today. Hopefully at least one of them is going to have something worth dunking. Oh, I mean funding. Men are so hard to fund. They don't have an understanding of managing money and all that. And they tend to take off so much time taking care of their family and kids and all that. That's always a big challenge. There are not many good male founders and they don't seem to have a handle on technology or marketing. Hey, this venture looks good. You know, see the one, number one on the list? It's about robotic process automation of apparels and has a very good EBITDA and ROI. Also this one, number three, for a new process of cleaning high buildings by robots. It's an easy success. But both of these are women-led. Let's look at the one of the ventures from the male founder. We have to satisfy the requirement. Do you remember that balloon helmet venture last week from that guy? That founder had no idea that that um, the the, the uh, demand on his ballooning headgear for little kids was so little. Uh oh, I lost my background. He was just looking out for his own children. Expanding helmet is a safety headgear for kids between the ages of three to seven. You are so right. Men also seem to think everything is just automation or artificial intelligence. They seem to lack structure. They lack organization. They lack objectivity. Hey, that's not true. We have invested in some very lucrative companies from very, very smart male founders. Do you remember that, uh, that drone delivery? Um, mm, I, oh, they, they just should think about their family. A uh, startup is uh, not for them. They just cannot scale. Let's find someone interesting and handsome. Just listening to that half-baked pictures is sometimes enough punishment. Again, the, there are male founders who are very, very innovative and resilient. They're really good leaders. Oh, really? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey, we know. Hold up. Uh, here's what about this one? This male founder, Ash, seems to have a specialized recycled product for helping to improve our ecological environment. It is a, it is the one listed as number four on the list? Oh, hmm? Ravi, you mean this one? Kukuldang? Paper bags for dog poo poo? Hmm, the founder looks handsome. He has a nice smile and seems pleasant. Shall we first listen to him? Okay. Sure, let's just pick one of the male founders and get it over with. Once yeah. we satisfy our 15% requirement, we can then move out to the good ideas developed by intelligent women. Okay, so you have chosen cuckoo dung bags. I will now invite the founder to make his pitch. Today, our first founder is male, Ashwin Shwan, a scientist. Ashwin is very passionate about our planet's vegetation, recycling, and dogs. He has created specialized recycle bags for picking up cuckoo dung, that is dog poo. He is asking for 100 uh, for 150 per he is asking for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for fifteen hundred fifteen percent of his company. Ashwin, you are on.
Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Picture this with me. It's a lovely morning and you are out walking your dog. And your dog does his duty. That is woo -woo, right in the middle of this wonderful walkway. Now you have to pick up the dirty duty in a bag because if you don't pick up that duty, you will get a big fine. But oops, there is no place to throw it away. So that's where my invention comes in. I have developed cooker dung recycled bags that turns your dog's duty into fertile compost perfect for an entire flower bed. These bags are created from plant recyclable material and are infused with natural chemicals so as to dissociate ammonia and break down dung into useful compost. This will help turn our planet green too. Oh, goody. Now I can pick up my dog's poo-poo in a little recycled paper bag and carry it around like a prize. Oh, let's not be hasty. Uh, I have a question for you, uh, Shuan, uh, right? Uh, your name is Shuan. Oh, uh, recycling and dogs. Oh. Sure. What can I answer? In Hindi, uh, doesn't uh, Shuan mean uh, dog? Um, oh, anyway, I want to tell you, one day from my window, I saw a burly man walking with a really big dog. His dog did his big uh, poo poo, or what do you call it, a duty, right in front of my house, and he was not going to pick it up. But I saw he saw me watching him. Then he whipped out this large paper grocery bag to pick up this giant duty. Now, can your uh, little recycle bag handle that? Yes, of course. My cuckoo dung bag comes in three sizes and is capable of picking up three kgs, six kgs, and even a large load of nine kgs of dog dung. The bag can then be thrown in any flower bed and it gets absorbed easily, giving rich nutrients to the soil. Hey, then we can use this to pick up cow dung in some Indian cities. Oh, also we can use this to pick up horse dung in mountain areas. Oh my God, the options are enormous. What a brilliant invention. Ash is unaware that the female investors are poking fun at him. Instead, he is really excited at the interest in his product. Definitely. Instead of complaining, your neighbors will start loving you. Hey, and you could even charge them a free for a great compost if you are enterprising enough. Okay, okay, B back to the investment. I like the concept, walk me through the costs. Also, where do you see the initial go to market and what's your total addressable market? I believe the best market for Kukuldang bags is in the metro cities with 20 to 35 year old upcoming pet loving demographic. There are 115 million around the world of which 1.3 million of these people are in India alone. All our landfills are overflowing and we desperately need more vegetation. Um, uh, are you doing this full time? Uh, tell me something more about yourself, uh, your background, your science background. Uh, also, tell me about your family. Does your uh, you know, wife work? I have done my undergrad in molecular biology and have done my PhD in waste management and environmental preservation. I have a part-time job as a scientist and I'm doing this gig on the side. My wife works as the chief at the office of the internal affairs. I have two little ones aged seven and five. So if we invest, are you planning to give up your job and work on this 100%? If you are working on this, who will be taking care of your children? What is more important, Kukudang or your children? That is not really... Um, you want us to give you $150,000 for, 
for 15% for production of uh, these bags. Wow, that is so high. Yeah, are these made of diamonds? Or does the founder come free for such a high valuation? Okay, who's your manufacturer? What is your cost of manufacturing? My manufacturer? What, what, what are your sales today? How long has this product been out? Um, what's your sales strategy? I, I hope it's not just dependent on your boyish good charm looks. Uh, can I please finish answering that? Yes, yes, please go, go ahead. Currently our sales have reached only $20,000 but the product has been on the market for six months. I'm in the process of filling orders for another $60,000. We have priced our bag at- Hey, let's cut to the chase. You are small potatoes. I doubt if your product will ever reach the heights you say it will. But sometimes we like to take a chance. Ash, we would like to confer here could you give us a moment? Sure. What are you thinking? Do you really think this is, I mean, this will go forward? Oh, he's so sweet. We should really do something for him. Oh yeah, he's cute. Oh, you are only concerned about his charm. Uh, I think he will not be able to make time for this business. Uh, just think about it. He has two young children to take care of? It does seem kind of a stretch, but you know, we could give it a try and we will f finish our 15 person mandate. We will not have to look for any more male founders. Definitely he's cute, but there's something in this idea. I think I can market this. That could really be a good deal. Let's take advantage of this. So, hmm, I think you think there's something here. This has a lot of positive uh, environmental impact as well. Good. If we made this deal, we would have finished a 15% mandate. To me, he's as good as any other male founder. And I think he will also look good in our pictures for the portfolio. Let's call him back. Sarah, can we call him back, please? So, Ashwin. You are back on. Hey, Ashwin. This is kind of a hard product to sell. But actually, we all discussed and we feel for you and your family. I can use my marketing skills to place it right for you, Ash. We have an offer for you. How about $200,000 for a 51% stake in your company? You take it or leave it. I'm not sure. Uh, this is not what I hoped for. This is the best offer you will get. Yeah, yeah. What is there to think about it? Your technology is very simple and anyone can copy it. But uh, it's my proprietary technology. No one can copy it. Uh, how about a counter? Um, can we settle for 200,000 for 22% of the company? $200,000 for 51% is a great offer. You have no appreciable sales yet. We have to hit the market fast if we have any chance to make money. We together can make it happen. Don't you see? Hang on. Uh, so looks like you have a patent on it. That's actually really good intellectual property. Yes. Okay, then I have another offer for you. Your product is to help restore our planet's ecology and vegetation. I really like that. Uh, and you're making the bag from recycled materials. Uh, I also like that. It is innovative, but a little hard to sell. We have to price it right. My offer is $300,000 for 51% of the company, and I get a board seat and get to decide the leadership team. Only three minutes are left in finalizing the deal. You have two great offers for you, buddy. Time is running out. Choose one or you're out. 
all female investors now realize that this male investor has something worth pursuing they now try to get in on the deal hold on you know i uh, do like this environmentally friendly concept and um i think i can make it work so i offer the same deal as ravi for controlling interest 51% however um i'll let you keep your leadership team oh oh wow three offers for this product choose wisely and soon do you need to confer with your wife i believe she must be sharing all this heavy decisioning with you no uh, i can decide for myself i choose um, i choose ravi's deal ravi i'm looking forward to working with you i'm happy to let you choose the leadership team thank you thank you everyone thank you slam dunkers ravi i'm with you i i'm with you on this um i think i can also invest and you've got my full support so this is a necessary step to keep our planet green congrats ravi and congrats ashwin for making this deal thank Please. you hey go. ash you got a good deal see you bye bye okay done bye bye good one bye good stuff i'm looking forward to working with you ash let's do it thank you ma'am i'm really excited to have you on my side thank you ashwin you have made a deal with ravi a green greenery giant slam dunker we will have the next steps ready for you thank you wow ravi uh, ravi is an environmental superstar i'm glad i got to make a deal with him i'm so excited great folks that was our founder for this dunk thank you for joining our slam dunkers we will be back after the break with our wonderful female founder sheba of shine the glass do tune in for our upcoming dunk hey i hope you enjoyed this skit with covid we worked really hard to get all the people from across seven locations and four time zones this was the slam dunkers investor forum for you let me introduce you to our writer director smita bagla of tai socal our producer hema annamalai of tai coimbatore and our video editor johan v here is now our cast in the order of appearance our host surbi saxena from tai surat Teresa Rashida Adenwala from Thai Hyderabad Dr Nandi Nandita Sethi from Thai Hyderabad Bridget Patrice Baba from Thai Denver A Magica Hema Annamalai from Thai Coimbatore Samantha Smita Bagla from Thai Socal Ravi Ravi Sharma from Thai Socal and Ashwin Shwan Harshit Desai from Thai Delhi thank you we really enjoyed doing this for all of you i hope you all enjoyed it too good fun thank, thank you. you yay Bye, we Thanks. enjoyed thank you good luck from slam dunkers to all of you bye bye, bye.